Hello there! I hope that you are doing well. Uh, today we are going to be reviewing a lesson for fourth year students, so please stay tuned. All right, so let us start. First of all, I want you to observe the following sentence with me. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a doctor. All right, let us see another sentence. So, Ahmed wants to be a doctor. All right, so I want to be a doctor and Ahmed also wants to be a doctor. In here, we are both sharing the same dream or the same thing, the same wish. Here, we are similar in expressing our wishes or our dreams. So for that matter, I want to make only one sentence by using like. Okay, so let us try to combine the two sentences using like. All right. So, like Ahmed, mm -hmm. can you guess what comes next? Very good, I, like Ahmed, I, and then we need a verb, want to be a doctor. Very well done. So here, what can we deduce? So we have understood here, in order to use or to express similarities, I have to use like. Can you think of any examples? All right, please let me know in the comments. Great. Now here, let's talk about the placement of like. Like Ahmed, I want to be a doctor. Here, like is placed at the beginning of the sentence. Can we try to place it in the middle? Okay, let's see. But with Ahmed, Ahmed want. Oh, there is something missing here, right? What is it? All right, the S, very good. So as we have seen previously in uh, the grammar lesson, so whenever we have a he or a she or an it, we always add an S to the verb or sometimes an ES. So Ahmed wants to be a doctor just like me. Wants to be a doctor just like like me. So the I here, the I, the pronoun I, becomes an object pronoun instead of subject pronoun. So let us try. We have like in the middle of the sentence. Ahmed wants to be a doctor like me. Great work! Okay, now let us move to the second example. So here, we can notice that Ahmed wants to be an artist, right? He wants to be an artist. And me or I want to be a doctor. Okay, so now we are not similar. We are not sharing the same thing. All right? Here, we can feel a certain contrast or a difference, okay? So, Ahmed wants to be an artist, but I want to be a doctor, all right? So, what is the word that we have to use in order to express differences or contrast? Okay, let us try this word. Unlike, unlike, 
So we are going to do the same thing as we have done with the first example. And like Ahmed, and like Ahmed, who wants to be an artist, by the way. So, and like Ahmed, I want to be a doctor. See? So here, in order to express differences, I have used and like. So like to express similarities and and like to express differences. All right? As we have seen with like, and like also can be placed in the middle of the sentence. It can be placed in the beginning, like in this sentence, and like Ahmed, I want to be a doctor. Now let's try to put it inside or in the middle of the sentence. So, Ahmed wants, and here we are missing something. All right, the S, very good. So, Ahmed wants to be to be what okay an artist an artist and like me and here we are going to do the same thing the subject pronoun becomes an object pronoun great and here we have and like in the middle of the sentence Ahmed wants to be an artist and like me so, I want to be a doctor, not an artist. Okay, very good job. All right, so at this stage, we have come to deduce that in order to express similarities, we have to use like, and like can be placed at the beginning of the sentence, as it can also be placed at the middle of the sentence. And in order to, to express differences, all right, so we have to use and like, and just like like, all right, it can be placed at the beginning of the sentence as it can be also placed at the middle of the sentence. Very well done. So let us here read or observe the last sentence. Can you try to read it with me? I want to be a doctor. So this is sentence number one. Okay. So we have a subject, a verb, and an object, okay? Now sentence number two, Ahmed wants to be an artist, subject, verb, and object, okay? So in here, I want to join the two sentences in order to form one sentence. Okay, so there is one word that we are going to use, which is whereas. Let us try to read the sentence now. I want to be a doctor, whereas Ahmed wants to be an artist. So according to you, what does whereas add to the sentence or what does it serve? What does it express? Okay, so I want to be a doctor, whereas Ahmed wants to be an artist. Yes, correct. So it expresses differences, just like and like. So and like and whereas, they both express differences, but they have some slight differences. And like is a preposition, so uh, it must be followed by a noun. For example, and like my mother, I really enjoyed my time. Okay? So, in the other hand, whereas is a subordinating conjunction. So, it has to be placed before a whole clause or a whole sentence, which is connected to a whole clause as well. So, as you can see here, we have a subject, a verb, and an object, whereas, and then another clause, subject, verb, and an object. So, 
eventually we can uh, deduce that in order to express similarities we use like in order to express differences we use and like and whereas That's it about today's lesson. I hope that you have understood and um, my explaining has revealed a little bit of ambiguity for sure. And that's the end of the lesson. Uh, I hope that you will stay tuned for other lessons, inshallah. Take care. Bye-bye.